My dear students, let us do the problem in a simple shortcut method with a different approach, which is called as out of box thinking, we can say. So here, if you observe this disc here, a larger disc having radius A, from that a smaller disc is carved out. And the solution given in the book is this much. Okay. So this is the solution given in the book here. This is the solution given in the book. Instead of doing all this stuff, let us go in a different and shortcut method. So whenever you remove this smaller disc of radius A by 2, there is a shift of center of mass from here to here. The center of mass is getting shifted from here to here. Okay. So uh, let us see how, what happens and what is the shortcut formula for that. You know that x shift can be considered as just r2 square by r1 plus r2 as a shortcut formula r2 square by r1 plus r2 it's a simple shortcut formula so that you can find out the shift in the case of especially for discs here now let us see what is going to happen so here you all know that r2 here r1 is nothing but a and r2 is nothing but a by 2 so here a by 2 is nothing but a square by 4 divided by r1 plus r2 which is nothing but a plus a by 2 so what are you going to get now let us see so therefore you will be getting x shift as how much a square by 4 divided by 3 by 2 a so here a square a gets cancelled then 2 ones 2 twos gets cancelled at last you will be getting a by 6 3 twos are 6 here so we got x shift as a by 6 so what is this distance here now it is taken as a by 6 but in the problem he is asking us to find out the distance of this point from o so how can you find out that distance of that point from o so it's very simple you have to find out you have to find out this distance now so for that you have to do subtract a a by 6 from a that's it subtract a by 6 from a so you'll be getting phi a by 6 so this is a different approach to solve the problem and your answer is going to be c option hope you have enjoyed this method of solving the problem in a different way thank you